Hello there, Svetlana. Really sorry about the delay. Um, it won't happen again, okay? And you're totally in your right to complain. And yeah, sorry, there's been a bit of problems, but don't worry. I've taken over and I'll be doing other corrections for your work. If it's more than 24 hours, send me a message 0034 okay? And <clears throat> don't worry, we've got to the 17th, six more days. Really sorry about that delay. Let's just nail it now, okay? Just a few left. So the pie charts compare the budget of three countries Bond's land, Tim's land, and Jim's land. I think it's Ben's land actually. Coming, uh, okay. The budget of three countries, da 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 da, da for three, and uh, here we could have just said for seven different sectors of the economy. Agriculture services, um, na sorry, agriculture services, natural resources, heavy and light industries. Good. Data is provided, or the data is from, even more succinct, IMF, uh, comma, 2014, and represented in millions of USD. Not bad. Okay. From the pie chart, it is clear that James Land is the wealthiest country in this group, with profit of 217 million. Okay, could we have... Okay, could we have said this a little bit briefer? For example, 2.17 million or 2.7 M USD. That would have been fine and um, uh, totally acceptable in total. Followed by Tim's land at 174,000. And finally, that Ben's land reaching only 93,000. Okay, let's see. Let me just profit. Let's see, about half of the income, about half of in, yeah, about half of the income is generated by agriculture in Ben's land, heavy industry in Tim's land, and services in Jim's land. Okay, good observation. We could have phrased it a different way, a little bit more clear, and we could have said, um, each country has a dominant sector. For Ben's land, agriculture. For Tim's land, it is heavy industry, and finally, for Jim's land, it's services at 45 cents per hand, respectively. Good. However, the smallest fraction of earnings come from natural resources for... Okay. However, for each country, the smallest fractions of, of earnings comes from natural resources. Subject, verb, object. Okay. It's a lot clearer to, to read like that and it's easier to write like that as well. Okay, nearly 20% of Ben's landed revenue is generated by services in comparison with the other industries. 13% <clears throat> for heavy industry, 9% for light industries. Okay, in Tim's land, a quarter, in Tim's land, a quarter of the country's income comes from light industry and services. However, in Jim's land, the large sector of the budget is generated of the budget generated by light industry. Large sector of income maybe, or large sector of the exports, is generated by light industry, 70,000, and farming at 35,000. Good. Okay, not bad. We're talking about, um, okay, with more fractions, I think I would have gone for, or like the smallest, so you've got the superlatives in there as well, genius. Okay, we could have said a fifth, we could have said a quarter, we could have said uh, just under a, Half, I've got about half there, so that's good. Okay, perhaps some more a proportion we could have used as well. Okay, um, okay, just trying to give uh, trying to suggest some more ideas to improve this. Overall, it is clear that every country has um, a main industry which brings them the, brings them the greatest proportion of money. Uh, here we could have said which generates. The greatest proportion of money for them okay or the greatest share of exports or something okay just make it sound a little bit more academic task two let's go the issue of taking a gap year before starting a professional course is a debatable issue which has grown in importance over the years i firmly believe that it is a great opportunity to decide on on one's future before committing long term and to gain initial experience in a professional sector good both reasons will be discussed in the essay with relevant examples from the UK 
to demonstrate to uh, from the UK to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Okay, but make that last sentence relevant to the rest of the essay. Okay, otherwise it's an empty sentence that is uh, too generic and will cost you points because the examiners can spot the generic sentences uh, a mile off. Okay, let's continue. Firstly, considering the importance education has in a modern society, it is extremely significant to decide which profession a young person should follow or a young person would want to follow during their entire life before starting university. Okay, not bad. Few points here. Um, let's see. So, sig significant, okay, means important. So, if you're saying extremely significant, it's a bit redundant. The extremely, okay. So, significant is sufficient. Now, here's a quick tip: change the subject to the plural, and then we do not have to put a sex on the actual subject. You had to make this. Uh, where is it? Let's see. You had to make this young person a male, okay? Which is a shame because it could have been a female, all right? Uh, you could say he's or her, but that's clumsy. Change it uh, to decide which profession young people want to follow during their entire life, okay? Problem solved. This is because numerous students do not even know what they prefer to do in, in the future, okay? Negative construction. Can we change that? Um, what could we say instead of D, do not even know? We could say, uh, this is because numerous students are unaware what are unaware of their future pref future career preferences. Bam! I said exactly the same with less words. Happy days. For example, a late UK survey showed a late, no, a recent, okay, showed that over 20% of recent, no, we've already used recent, so let's see. For example, um, a UK survey from 2011 showed that over 20% of recent graduates would like to change their higher education while studying at university. Okay, would like to change courses. Simpler, all right? Thus, it is obvious that a gap year provides additional time for a learner, good, to decide and choose the future career. Okay, I, yeah, just change that to the infinitive to make it clear for a learner, for deciding and choosing. Okay, what you said is okay, but what I said just changes the subject, the, uh, the structures. Okay, and so on. All right, excellent work. Secondly, the opportunity to be in a professional environment provides essential knowledge and awareness about a profession, its pros and cons. Okay. How are we saying the same? Essential knowledge and pros and cons provides the opportunity to learn the pros and cons of a career path or of a industry sector to avoid saying professional, professional. Okay, to avoid saying that and to reorganize the sentence so we don't have redundant repetition. It sounds a bit harsh, that, but you know it. Okay, just organizing it for clarity. Also, adolescents develop their communication and job skills, meet other professionals while practicing at a company. Furthermore, furthermore, another advantage is that adolescents, okay, just to make it clear that we are building on the same on the on another point, okay, and furthermore sounds more academic than also. For example, a recent UK government report shows that postgraduates with previous work experience are twice as likely to find employment than those who did not work before. Once again, a negative uh, construction. Can we change that? Put a different verb in there. What could we say? Are twice as likely to find employment than those um, without prior, or without, let's see, um, with previous experience, are twice as likely to find employment than those without job done. Thus, it is clear why employment history. Okay, thus it is clear why. Um,
not a prospectus in this, this clear way, um, employment experience or practical in-field work experience during the gap year benefits a job candidate uh, prospectee. A job candidate would be the most accurate way of saying it. You can't have a job prospectus that's like a catalogue or a brochure for a job. To conclude, from the examples and arguments given, I firmly believe that taking a gap year is extremely important for those who have yet to define their future and professional life or to define their future professional life, okay? Or extremely important for those um, who have uh, who have still to define their future career path or whatever, okay? But can you see, instead of using these negative constructions, we can use other constructions and it makes, and it improves the language and it flows a lot better. All right, Svetlana, hopefully that helps you a lot. Uh, keep going, I'll send you the next task straight away so you know the deal. Send your corrections, send the new essays. We're cooking with gas, six days to go, let's do it.